So the device has been rebooted and here you see the magisk manager is now removed and if I go to root checker just to verify everything is okay and if I click this verify root you see it says sorry your device is unrooted. Hi guys and welcome back to another great and exciting tutorial. And today I am going to talk about this Magisk Manager. So as soon as you see this Magisk Manager, you already know that the device is rooted. But some of you sometimes feel that rooting the device is not that much beneficial and might be causing hindrance to some of the banking applications. And for some, it might be a cause of not getting OTA or OS updates. So whatever could be the reason, the solution will be simply to unroot the device or remove this Magisk Manager. But just uninstalling this Magisk Manager will not unroot your device and there is a complete process which has to be followed in order to unroot your device and remove all the traces of the routing process which has been done to the mobile. So this is just a quick video which tells you how to unroot your device and uninstall Magisk so that your device again becomes ready for all the OTA updates and your other financial banking applications. So there are basically two ways of uninstalling this Magisk Manager and unrooting your device. So first one is you have to go inside Magisk first and you have to make sure that you are connected to internet. Then this is the best and safest solution which is provided by the Magisk itself. So here this option on the, the main home page of this Magisk app which says uninstall. So if you click uninstall it will give you two options restore images and complete uninstall. So just in case if you don't want to keep any traces of Magisk and totally unroot your device you have to select this complete uninstall. So in this case it will remove all those Magisk binary files and boot images and restore it with the actual boot image file which it has taken as a backup during the installation of Magisk. So once you click this complete uninstall, you will see it will start downloading this uninstall.zip. So once this file gets downloaded, it will automatically flash this file and restart your device so that your device becomes unrooted and the Magisk will be completely uninstalled. So here you see that Magisk was removed and the device is now restarted. So the device has been rebooted and here you see the Magisk Manager is now removed and if I go to root checker just to verify everything is ok and if I click this verify root you see it says sorry your device is unrooted. So uninstalling the Magisk from the Magisk Manager itself is one of the best option and is safest because it will correctly restore all your stock boot.image files and there won't be any complications of boot loops but there is another option in which we have to flash the magisk uninstaller zip file through twrp or any other custom recovery. So here if you see there is this file called as magisk uninstaller zip file. So this is a flashable zip which you can directly flash through twrp just to get rid of magisk manager. But this you should use only in case if the by default option of Magisk Manager of uninstalling it is not working. But I would suggest you to go through the default option of uninstalling the Magisk through the Magisk Manager itself which is just a one step process and it does everything on its own. You don't have to take care of anything. But still there is this second Magisk uninstaller zip available which in case if you want to flash you can flash through any custom recovery. So I hope you would have liked this quick tutorial of how to uninstalling the Magisk Manager as well as Magisk and make your device unrooted to have all the stock updates and security functionalities enabled in your device. So enjoy your unrooted stock Android mobiles again. Cheers. If you appreciate my efforts, please hit the like button and give me a visit on the below platforms. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.